Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a Black Friday Killstar haul for you. It's kind of festive so I thought I'd do it now. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below if you want to discuss anything that comes up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and if you already do, thank you! Hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So, a Black Friday Killstar haul. I picked up a few bits and bobs, nothing huge, all the huge things I'm getting for Christmas so I'm not allowed them yet so you'll see those after Christmas but there's a few bits and bobs that I picked up now so I thought I would share them with you. Right on with the first thing, so the first thing is the Dragon Claw ring as you can see, there it is, there it's the Dragon's Claw ring as you can see it's like a crystal ball being held by two Dragon's Claws. I'll, I'll pop some stock footage up there for you as well so that you can see. It's a lovely ring. I have very big fingers. I have to get everything in a nine. Um, it actually came up a bit big. It's kind of a bit loose compared to my other Killstar rings. But it's really cool. It's really cool. I do keep knocking it because obviously it sticks out loads. But it's really different. I must admit though, on the website it looked black. I thought that this orb was black because I wanted sort of the pewter and black jewellery uh, but I just, I don't mind I really like the fact that the dragon claw has got that sort of um, burnished silver pewter type effect to it and actually it's really cool it looks like a little crystal ball which is you know very very cool the other ring that I got was the Francis ring this is the Francis ring this one here. I just thought it was really, you know, pretty. Just, you know, not too flashy. I love the fact that, look, if you look at the sides of the stone, it's two tiny little skulls, which I just really like. I like the black jewel in it. It goes with some of the other Killstar jewellery that I already have and that's what I wanted. I, a lot of the, all the rings I had so far were shiny. I wanted some more matte rings to go with. So this is the Gothic necklace. I bought this a little while ago. I did a video on it uh, and I wanted to get the earrings that match. So these are the Gothic earrings. They are really nice. They've got this like cathedral window design with these dangly down little bits oh, hang on I'm gonna have to do this they're just they're really they're really different they're really they're quite light I was I was expecting them to be really heavy they're not they're nice and light um, again they're this lovely um, sort of pewter looking effect I like the little black stone that's in the top uh, the little dangly bits are really cool they do keep getting caught in my clothes I've got some sort of very open mesh tops and they keep getting stuck on them so I'm not sure how long they are going to last but we will see they're very comfortable to wear considering how big they are they're you know because they're like this they're, they're they're very comfortable and they look obviously look magnificent with this I actually also bought them because I wanted to wear them with the rosary necklace which I bought a little while ago because you can get the rosary earrings which are this bit here but where my ears have only been pierced I think it's been four months now it's too heavy that would be too much weight on my ear um, so I decided that they would go well together because they they have the same sort of effect on them they're made of the same stuff they've got the same black jewels etc so I really I thought that you know those earrings would go with both necklaces you know really well and look really good must say a little side note this rosary necklace I, I think about a week after I got it there's supposed to be a stone in there there is not any more and it was only when I started looking back at photographs of me wearing it I think I lost this very soon after I bought it which I was more than a little bit miffed about to be perfectly honest I'm going to see if I can buy a little button or a um you know a black costume jewelry jewel to stick in the the hole I haven't found anything yet but I haven't um you know gone on a mission for it yet the other thing with this necklace is a couple of times i've been in the supermarket got this cross bit caught and as you stand up it it pulls and it literally unravels all of these joins here they literally just all ping off um 
I luckily I have jewelry making equipment so I can fix it but it's never been quite the same since so it is a nice necklace I'm not sure if I would recommend it it is beautiful and I do love the fact that it's really long and I always wanted a rosary necklace and all the ones that I bought they were a bit too blingy and I, I it's beautiful I'm just a little miffed at the the quality sadly but I think unfortunately this seems to be the way that Killstar's going at the moment I've definitely noticed a bit of a drop in quality which is a real shame I think it's because they've become more popular and so they've had to sort of move to a bigger factory to have their things manufactured and it's just not quite as good quality wise which is a real shame but you know what it's still beautiful stuff it's it is still nice you know so can't complain too much I still buy it at the end of the day so I can't really hate it that much can I <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, the next things that I bought I got the Ella tights now I got them in white I also got them in blood now I've worn these these haven't these have been out the packet tell you what I'd a lot of people have bought Killstar tights and sort of said beware beware the th quality is I mean the thickness of these tights and the quality of the the weave on them is amazing they are really good quality tights I, I think you'd really struggle to put your finger through them but I am a UK 10 these after a while hurt me to wear in that I feel like I'm wearing control pants because they are so small and they really do suck you in which is great in that they give you a nice smooth line but you know if you are over a 10 I just don't see how you could actually comfortably wear these I wore these all day and when it got to sort of the kids had gone to bed I was like I've got to go and put tracksuit bottoms on my stomach hurts it made me have a tummy ache after dinner I just thought I had a tummy ache it was only when I put my tracksuit bottoms on that I was like oh it was the tights so they are beautiful they are amazing quality if you're a size 10 or less they're they're brilliant if you're a 12 or above I mean you could possibly get away with a 12 but I don't know whether you'd be comfortable so it's up to you whether or not you buy them if you are bigger than a 10 but Killstar why why don't you do them in two sizes you're there's a huge gap in the market so many people want these tights and yet you're not manufacturing them to sell to them it just seems balmy to me but I'm not their business ant manager it's not not up to me is it they're really really good really thick really comfortable really silky and they look fantastic I love the fact that it's one leg is the stripe and the other leg is black I used to have a lot of stripy tights when I was a teenager and it, I don't know it can be a little much sometimes I really like the fact that it's only one leg so it really, you just get that little hint of it when you're walking along, which I just think is fantastic. Really, really like that. I think that's something that sets them apart from everybody else. When, I mean, because you can get stripy tights anywhere, can't you? But you can't get many places where you can get just one leg and then the other leg. I suppose you could buy stockings, couldn't you? And wear one black and one stripy. But I get cold and I'm too old for dealing with the belts and st all the sticky bits and I just want to wear a pair of tights I just want to have a warm ass you know <laughs> so there you go <sighs> right the next thing that I got is these these are the Noctem Hexmas Christmas ornaments now last year we bought the uh the Christmas ornaments that had the the sun the moon and the stars on them and this year I wanted these they're back they're bats I will get them out because I had to put them back in this for you guys because they are, have already been on our tree I will of course insert some footage of our tree but look look how cute they are look they've got big ears and they've got the beautiful filigree detail on the body and these are going up in the house just for the rest of the year they are not going to be banished to the attic for you know the other 11 months of the year I they're so pretty they're so cute they're nice and light as well so they don't weigh down the um you know the branches on the tree because sometimes when you buy ornaments you realize they're really heavy and you can't you can almost put them on none of the 
the branches but as you can see from the footage they look so cute on our tree and the kids love to put them up they're just such cute little bats love them I mean you know you know me if you've seen this channel by now you know if you put a bat on anything any kind of bat thing you've sold it to me so yeah as soon as I saw them I was like I have to have them I have to have them and of course Black Friday sale 30% off I was sold so yeah <laughs> gotta love a bat ornament right and the last thing that I have is the Audrey knit dress dress <laughs> I'm sorry I'm only five foot three this is not a dress yeah if I went out in this as a dress I would be arrested you know? it's a jumper it's a beautiful jumper it really is gorgeous and you know it does look lovely especially if you just wear like a little vest top underneath it I wear it with a vest top and I got this really cool Primark um, denim skirt recently um, and it looks really good with that really sexy with that I love the bell sleeves on it and it's a lovely quality knit really lovely quality I really like the, the the lacing up the back as well I just think that's a really nice little design I did try wearing it with the lacing up the front but I couldn't get it to work I have seen pictures of other people doing it and they've some, somehow managed to make it work but so far I haven't been able to style it right so that it, it works but it's just a really nice jumper I would not have paid full price for this though I got this for about 17 quid there is no way that I would have bought this at full price but it's a lovely, you know, a bit more casual, but you still feel done sort of top. You know, like I said, if you want to, you know, sling on a denim skirt and a vest top and this, you just, you feel very goth, very put together, but you know, you're just in a kind of slouchy outfit, you know. It's really beautiful and it washes very well. I was concerned about washing it, but I just put it in with my normal 40 degree load. I obviously didn't tumble dry it. I hung it up to dry, but it looks beautiful. It looks really, really beautiful. I didn't shrink at all. Uh, it's, yeah, very impressed with the quality. But like I said, I don't think it's worth anything more than 17 quid. I think you could get something similar to this from Boohoo or Primark or New Look or somewhere like that. And, you know, for a similar price, H&M, I almost guarantee H&M have got something like this but it, it is lovely it is it's very warm to wear even though it's got this very open weave it is warm because it's a real sort of I think it's is it angora I can't remember I remember being quite surprised at what it was made of hang on if I can find there here we go oh no it's acrylic 100% acrylic okay it says to machine wash it cold I didn't machine wash it cold well you can't machine wash cold over here but you know I did it 40 it was fine so yes it's a beautiful beautiful jumper but like i said i certainly wouldn't pay any more than 17 quid for this it you know it's nice but it's not that nice but yeah i was expecting it to be more of a dress but hey i've got loads of dresses it's quite nice to have a jumper so <laughs> something to wear with some trousers you know and i'm get, definitely getting more into trousers recently yeah but there you are so that is my very quick black friday killstar haul i hope you enjoyed that i enjoyed showing you guys there is so much more killstar to come but obviously you will have to wait until after father christmas has been and brought it to me <laughs> so <laughs> i'm very excited to show you some of the things that he's got me so i uh, yeah i can't wait remember to uh, like this video if you liked it if you want to see more content like this uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already remember to comment down below tell me what you thought of the little bats or the jumper what did you get in the black friday killstar sale because i'm sure i mean it was it was pretty epic i actually bought most of this in the pre-black friday sale because it was better better money off on the whole but yeah let me know what you got i would love to chat with you down in the comments subscribe to this channel if you haven't already it really really truly helps and thank you so much to all of you who already do hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever i upload and remember people stay heavy